Hi everybody and welcome to this video on the prediction calibration feature. So this feature is available across all of IBWave software. Um, that's IBWave Wi-Fi Design Public Safety. And what it allows you to do is to take your survey data that you captured um, live on site and use it to calibrate or fine tune your prediction. So it helps to um, tune the accuracy to be as close to representing the live environment as possible. Um, so what we're looking at is a, a sample project. It's the IBWave office. And I've run the um, heat maps already, so I'm just gonna turn them on so that we can take a look at the before and then compare it after I calibrate. So I'm gonna first uh, turn on the 2.4 gigahertz. So you can see um, this heat map. And when I compare it to the survey data interpolation heat map for 2.4, you can see that there is some difference um, right around this area here, right? So this is the survey data interpolation and this is the signal strength heat map prior to calibrating it. For five gigahertz, if I turn on the signal strength heat map, uh, this is your result. And then if I go look at the survey data um, interpolation heat map for five gigahertz, it looks something like this. So you can see quite a big difference here um, through the middle in some of these areas as well. So what we're gonna do is take that survey data and then use it to calibrate or tune the prediction um, algorithm so that the heat map takes in the live readings into consideration um, for the result. So the way you do that is up here in the prediction menu, click on calibrate. And basically you can see here that some have been already added, majority of them, because I didn't want to walk through each and every one for this um, video, but I am going to walk you through how to add um, one model. So you add a calibration model for each of your access points on the floor for 2.4 and 5. And the good thing is that these models can be actually saved and imported and exported out of projects. So let's say you're doing a project where you have a lot of buildings that look the same, or you're doing a building where you have a lot of floors that are the same, then you can only set it up once and then use it multiple times. So to create a, a model for an access point, you click on the plus sign and then I'm gonna give it a name, uh, AP1, and we're gonna do 2.4 um, gigahertz first. Okay, so I go through and I find it in the list and then it automatically gives me the survey data that's eligible to be used. Um, I click on it, I click add, and then I select down here, do I want to calibrate just the model, the material, or both? So I'm going to leave it as the default of both. I click on OK. And then in a second here, it's going to show me the before and after so you can see the results. Um, so you can see here the calibrated value versus the default value. Some of them have a, a small difference, but Others have quite a large uh, difference in there. So I'm gonna do the same for the five gigahertz. So again, I'm gonna call it AP1, five gigahertz. And then I go through and I find um, my AP1 for five gigahertz. I select the eligible survey data. I click add, I click okay. It's doing the calibration. And again, it gives me the before and after results. So you can see all the other access points have been already added prior to this video. And all I have to do now is assign those models to each of the access points. Um, and the way you do that is just by checking it here. We just did access point one, so I need to, to select uh, the relevant models here. So I pick um, AP1 2.4, right? Those are the models we just created, so I'm now assigning them and I click OK, and that's essentially going to initiate the calibration. And now if we're to add a heat map and run prediction, it's gonna take that calibration in consideration. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and add a, a new signal strength heat map, and I'm just gonna say, um, add the word calibrated on here, so we can do a comparison, okay? You can see it's been added here, just gonna move that up. And then when I click on run, it's gonna now run prediction. It's considered the calibration and you can see the difference when I turn it on, right? So this is the calibrated uh, heat map. This is prior to calibration. And the if I wanna compare that back to the survey data, I'm just gonna turn on my 2.4 survey data again. 
So this is the survey for 2.4. This was the calibrated model, right? So you can see it's a lot closer than what it was before. And thus you're gonna get a, um, a more accurate um, prediction of how your network will perform. And that is my video on the prediction calibration feature. Thanks for listening and hope to see you next time.